Welcome to another Fancy Made DIY tutorial and today I am going to show you how to channel your inner lipstick for Halloween. Yes, you heard that right. I would try and show you the hat, but as you can see, it doesn't even fit in the shot. This was really hard. Um, to shoot, uh, but overall very excited to show you guys how you can channel your inner Selena and MAC Cosmetics collaboration this year and be the Como La Flor lipstick for Halloween. So originally I thought of being just regular lipstick for Halloween and of course the Selena collaboration came out. The packaging is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. So then I thought, wait a second, I should just channel and be that specific lipstick. So overall this tutorial was very easy to make, very inexpensive. That hat does take a little bit of time to assemble, but overall it's a breeze. And this is dedicated to all my makeup gurus out there. You can really customize this tutorial, make it your own. You can opt to maybe be the Kylie Jenner lip gloss instead, or you could be the Jeffree Star ammunition lipstick. Like you can really change it up, make it your own. The template of the hat by itself is just a great costume in general if you only want to wear the hat and maybe like a black dress that also works too. And you can change the colors of the lipstick. Like you can really, really go to town, make it your own, and I absolutely love it. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. You need the following materials for this tutorial. A purple shirt, an extra large, which we're gonna turn into our dress, something to trace with, a needle and thread, make sure the thread matches the color of the shirt, some white puffy paint, which you can purchase at your local craft store, some red and black stiff felt, get about two sheets of each, a pair of scissors, some white foam paper, hot glue gun, some lavender felt, also about a yard of regular black felt, and the last thing you're gonna be needing is a black plastic pot, plant pot container, which I purchased at my local Home Depot. So we're gonna first start off by creating our dress or the por big portion of where the design of the MAC Cosmetics is going to go. So I'm going to be turning my purple shirt inside out, then taking a dress that fits me, I'm going to be creating the template of my dress on that. So this shirt's made of cotton, so it will definitely stretch. And once I've made my, um, I've traced my design, I went ahead and I pinned the shirts together so it wouldn't move and then I'm simply going to sew them together and I'm going to go all the way to the top of where the armpit goes and that part I'm not going to sew anywhere up because otherwise my hand won't fit through. I'm going to repeat this on the opposite side as well. Then I'm going to leave about an inch and cut off any excess fabric off and now I'm going to work on the sleeves. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can fold them in pin them and then sew them but to save some time I'm simply going to take my hot glue and just glue them down. You can also opt to use some fabric glue as well for this part. And as you can see your dress template is completely done and we're going to go ahead and start with the design. Now for this next part you're going to be needing some of your felt, light purple felt scissors, your puffy paint. So we're going to be mimicking the logo that is on the lipstick and that is why you need the lighter purple shade. Now there's no really easy way to do this. You can trace it and then cut it out but I kind of just winged it and started cutting out the big S um, onto the felt with my scissors. As you can see here, if you want to trace it first and then cut it out, it's completely up to you. I tried doing that at first and it was just impossible, so I just decided to make cuts. So as you can see here, I have my S all done. Now for the rest of the word, of the Selena word, I, I, I did go in with the marker and I did my best to mimic her signature on there. And now I'm going to cut out 
the rest of the letters and make sure that I cut out the little black markings as well so the lettering comes out nice and clean. As you can see, I have it there. Now we're gonna work on the bottom part of the signature, which is just a very easy thin strip that, go, that attaches from the S and goes outward. So once we cut that out, this is what your signature should look like. Now there's two ways you could do this, so I can save myself some time. Um, I'm simply going to just hot glue all the letters down, but you can also opt to use some fabric glue let the letters dry for overnight or for a few hours and that way you can wash this and it will be good in the wash as well but again just for time purposes i'm going to just glue everything down with my good old hot glue and once i have that secured now i'm going to take a piece of paper a thick cardboard paper and i'm going to put it underneath the dress and the last thing you're gonna be doing is taking your puffy paint and recreating the MAC logo right above the Selena signature. So that's why I put the paper in between so then the, the puffy paint wouldn't go through the dress. So taking a, another piece of my cardstock, I'm going to start tracing the MAC logo with a pencil and I'm using the cardstock just to make sure that the lettering is nice and straight. Then I'm going in with my marker and drawing the letters a little bit darker so I can see it. Then taking my puffy paint, I'm going to trace over the black letters. You do want to have a steady hand for this part, so definitely take your time doing it. And I'm going to go in and do two layers of it. You can opt to do more, it's completely up to you. And then let it dry overnight or for a few hours and this is what your final dress product should look like. As you can see, it was rather easy to create. And now for the fun part, assembling the lipstick hat, you're going to be needing your stiff felt black and red, also your foam paper, your black felt, regular felt, and the pot or the plastic pot. So I'm gonna begin by gluing down the plastic pot onto my stiff, black stiff paper, as you can see here, kind of looks like a hat already. Then I'm gonna go around and kind of just clip it, make sure that it leaves nice edges around. So I'm creating an additional circle just to give my lipstick a little bit more volume. Now taking my stiff felt, I'm going to be drawing out two lines um, or making a thick, border this is going to go around the bottom of the hat as you see here and that's what my foam paper was for so taking um, a good amount of hot glue put it on the edges and then very carefully attach your foam paper on there and you're going to be doing this all around the hat and once the surface all around is completely covered, then take your hot glue and go around with a good amount of hot glue just to secure the edges once more. Allow it to dry, and this is what it should look like as of right now. Now for this next part, you are going to take the bottom circle, trace it, and you are going to be adding it to your hat. And I created a smaller circle using the top of the hat as you can see here. Then I'm going to be cutting a little bit more in so it fits. So this is going to cover the top part of my hat now. And unfortunately I didn't have any more of my black felt so I had to do the red. So I attached it and then once again I went over it around just to make sure that the pieces were nice and secure. Then I drew another circle using the base of my um, of my hat as well. So I'm basically repeating what I just did, but I'm doing that black layer to cover the red part on there. Then taking that felt, I'm going to glue it down, secure it. Then cutting a strip, I'm going to cover the entire um, bottom surface all around on there, as you can see. Make sure you use a good amount of glue then whatever fabric is left over on the bottom, I am simply going to glue that down as well. So essentially what I'm doing at this point is just taking my black felt 
and covering the entire surface of the hat so it's all nice and um, in a unison black color. Then I'm going to take my scissors and cut off any excess on the top part. So as you can see here, our hat is really starting to take shape. Then I'm taking another piece of felt and covering the top portion of the plastic container now. So once you have the felt nice and secured all around, then you are going to take whatever fabric is left over on top and just glue it down so all the edges come out nice and clean. And once you completely finish doing that, you are going to be tracing the top part of it onto another piece of felt. Cut out that circle, then glue it to the top of your hat so then the top surface is completely covered and glue that down with a good amount of hot glue again. Then taking my scissors, I'm gonna go around and just clip off any excess felt that I have on there. And this is what you should have so far. To finish off the rest of the hat, I took some stiff red felt and I wrapped it around in a circle. And I'm going to glue down the edges together to kind of close the circle off. I measured it to make sure it was the appropriate width for the hat. Then I'm going to be gluing it down to the base or the top part of the hat with a good amount of hot glue. Once it's on there, go with your hot glue all the way around just to give it a nice bind and hold. Allow that to dry. Now as you can see here, all lipsticks kind of have like this angled, um, it just angles off on the top part. So we're going to be mimicking that, going in with our scissors and cutting the excess fabric off at an angle. So as you can see here, it's really starting to look like lipstick. I'm going to go back in and fix my edges. Then putting a good amount of glue on the open surface, I'm going to close that off. So I'm going to put glue on there and glue it down on another piece of stiff felt. Let that dry for a second. Then cut off any excess stiff felt around there. So we have the lipstick portion done and I forgot to include this, but you're gonna be needing a black headband. So taking a lot of hot glue, I'm going to secure my headband to the center of my bottom base of the bottom base of my lipstick. Then taking a few strips of my felt, I'm going to double secure it on the bottom of my hat to hold the headband and this is what your final product should look like. So that was it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to head over to fancymate.com for even more Halloween DIY tutorials for you guys. I have everything I have ever created in the past four years over on my site. So be sure to check it out if you need some last minute Halloween inspiration. After this, I have one more Halloween costume coming up for you guys for a BFF duo. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It's actually really, really funny. So that's gonna be the last one. And then after that, I am going to start working on my actual Halloween costume that I will be wearing for Halloween. So usually I create all this content for you guys. And then I always have to up myself one because I'm crazy and create um, just a costume for myself that I wear the day of Halloween. Last year I was a Taco Bell, so it was my favorite fast food chain, which is Taco Bell, and the Disney Princess Belle combined together to make Taco Bell. And it was a pretty awesome costume, I do have to say. I had so much fun creating it. If you guys wanna check out pictures of that one, it's over on the blog as well. And this year, I just have to come up with something even crazier every year, have to top myself. So hopefully you guys um, will see that. Keep checking back in on my Instagram. I'm gonna be posting a ton of my pictures on Halloween. And if you guys create anything, um, please do share it. Let me know, hashtag fancy made DIY. I love, love, love featuring you guys on my blog. So if you end up being inspired by one of my tutorials, please hashtag it so I can feature it. I love seeing all of your work. It makes me 
so so happy um, but yes thank you guys so much for taking the time to check out my channel to watch this video and I'm sending all of you lots of love and light and I will be seeing you soon next week in a few days something like that okay love you guys bye